guys welcome to today's lesson today i am going to teach you how to check for the concentration of a bleach how to check for the concentration of a bleach the materials and the quantities needed for this exercise are as follows sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate 6.2 grams potassium iodide 9 grams sodium hypochlorite that's a bleached solution 100 ml concentrated hydrochloric acid 36% weight to weight 43 ml 250 ml volumetric flask 2 weighing balance 25 ml pipette 1 distilled water and titration apparatus now let's see the procedure the first thing to do is dissolve the 6.2 grams of sodium thiosulfate pentahydrate in some distilled water in a beaker then pour it into the 250 ml volumetric flask and make the solution up to the mark by adding more distilled water. The concentration of this solution that you have made is about 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. The next thing is pour the 43 ml of the concentrated hydrochloric acid into some distilled water in a beaker. Then pour the solution into the second 250 ml volumetric flask and make the solution up to the mark. Rinse the beret with some of the thiosulfate solution, and then fill it above the zero mark. Adjust the volume of the solution to the zero mark by running some of it out through, through the tap. Now rinse the pipette equally with the bleach solution and pipette 25 ml of the bleach into a conical flask using a pipette filler. The next thing is add 3 grams of potassium iodide to the bleach and shake. This helps to liberate iodine from the sodium hypochlorite in the bleach according to the equation below. Now the bleach contains um, sodium hypochlorite. So, the potassium iodide helps to liberate iodine from this sodium hypochlorite. Now 
Now add about 10 ml of the hydrochloric acid solution that you have prepared to, the, to it and shake. This helps to liberate chlorine from the remaining sodium hypochlorite in the bleach. The liberated chlorine is then reduced to more iodine by the potassium iodide which is already present in the bleach solution. The equation for this reaction are shown below. The next thing is titrate the 0.1 mole per gram cube thiosulfate solution against the iodine in the flask. Titrate the 0.1 mole per gram cube thiosulfate solution against the iodine in the flask until the solution turns colorless. Take the burette reading. In this case, it is 11.50 cm cube. Now repeat the titration two more times. So we are going to take the second and the third values, which are 13.30 plus 12.50, all in cm cube, divided by 2. That gives 25.80 cm cube divided by 2. And then the final answer is 12.90 cm cube. Now let's also see the reaction that was involved during the titration exercise. Iodine reacted with sodium thiosulfate in the ratio of one mole is to two. The amount of thiosulfate in the average titer is given as 12.90 divided by 1000 times 0 0.1 mole per dm cube. And that gives 0 0.00129 moles. The formula I'm using here is amount equals to volume in dm cube times molar concentration. And the amount of iodine required to react with the 0 0.00129 moles of the thiosulfate is going to be 0 0.00129 divided by 2, which is 0 0.000645 moles, which is one half the amount required, the amount of thiosulfate required in the reaction. Now this implies that the amount of iodine 
liberated from 25 mils of bleach is equivalent to the amount of sodium tiosulfate, sorry, amount of sodium hypochlorite present in the 25 mils of the bleach as all the sodium hypochlorite in the bleach were converted to iodine. I take that again. The amount of iodine liberated from 25 mils of bleach is equivalent to the amount of sodium hypochlorite present in the 25 mils of the bleach because all the sodium hypochlorite in the bleach were converted to iodine. So, Okay. Now, 25 mils of bleach solution contains 0.000645 moles of sodium hypochlorite. Therefore, 1,000 mils or one liter of the bleach solution will contain 0 0.000645 divided by 25 times 1,000. And that gives 0 0.0258 moles. Then the percentage concentration of sodium hypochlorite in the bleach will be equal to 0 0.0258 divided by 1,000 times 100. And that gives 0.258% or approximately 0.3%. So the bleach concentration of the DMT it is 0.0258 moles. That means every one liter of the bleach contains 0.0258 most of sodium hypochlorite. Alright, please leave a comment if you need more explanation in today's lesson. Have a nice day.